All right, so it's been a whole month since we started this enclosed ecosphere. It's my first time doing an enclosed ecosphere where I use aquarium fish tank plants from the hobby and fluval stratum. And also where I put live invertebrates into the tank on purpose. So there's Sven, the saddled shrimp against my better judgment that I put into here. She is a pioneer of sorts, paving the way to the future of my ecosphere adventures. Then we got Alfred, the little pond snail I put in there to keep Sven company. Or, I don't know, emergency food? Anyway, we sealed it up and here's what happened in a month. Okay, I'm pretty sure I did not put another pond snail in this enclosure. Alfred blew the heck up. Like, he got jacked. He put on the gains, bro. I don't know what to say. Sven is actually still alive, so I'm still a good human being for putting her in there. No guilty conscience keeping me awake at night yet. Sven's just chomping away. I imagine there's a lot of new bacteria growth and maybe even some algae spores. Good stuff. We got some funky business up in the Java Moss area. The heck is this? It has the color of bacteria, but the texture reminds me of some algae. I can't say I've ever seen this before. Here you can see Sven slowly beginning to realize that this is her whole life now and that she's stuck with Alfred for the foreseeable future. She's going through a depressive phase where she chooses not to eat as much. I just made all that up actually, she's just resting. <laughs> or maybe, I don't know, she really might be thinking that, who knows. Here's Alfred, not giving an F. Why is he so big now? Alright guys, I didn't expect this, but seems like a ram's horn snail hitchhiked into our little experiment. That's okay though, more friends for Sven. Also, a lot of cyclops have hatched. They're little buggies that don't hurt nobody. Oh no, Sven, no! <laughs> I'm just kidding, shouldn't have done that to you guys. That's just Sven's shed. It's actually a very good sign that Sven is healthy and thriving, because a shrimp only sheds when they have enough nutrients to outgrow their exoskeleton. Yay, go Sven. Now remember how I put some floaters right before we close this baby up? Well, now look at them. They've covered the top, and I still don't really know if this is a good thing. I know for sure they have drastically helped in detoxifying our enclosed environment. They've also limited and controlled the lighting effects on the whole system as well, so that algae is kept at bay and the rest of the plants can thrive. Still, I have yet to determine if that's a blessing or a curse. I'm getting slightly worried that they're growing way too much and way too fast to be sustainable. But they sure do look cool. There's Alfred. And here's Sven. Wow, the pearlweed is really reaching for the stars. Alright, a whole month has passed. Here's our ram's horn. Didn't grow too much from the last week. Not a heavyweight champ like Alfred. The pearlweed is only growing taller. I'm a little worried they will not know to start carpeting unless they are trimmed a few times. Which, of course, can't happen because the laws of the universe dictate that an enclosed ecosphere is not to be opened. Ever. They are growing quite well though. I'm very impressed by the other plants as well, they've all been growing quite nicely. It seems I've somehow hit a balance straight away with this tank as there wasn't even any bacteria bloom or algae bloom or new tank syndrome. I believe that's largely due to adding the salvinia and duckweed. They continue to cover the top of the tank and grow more and more. They're definitely taking lots of light from the other plants, but in turn, they keep their growth balanced and keep algae at bay. I'm wondering if that's a good thing or not because it means less food for Sven and his buddies. 
but this also means oxygen production is quite efficient and should be plentiful, which is very assuring. Sven is doing great. I haven't really kept an eye on her that much, but she seems to be a little less active. This behavioral change could be due to her slowly realizing that there is less and less food accessible, and her instincts may have kicked in to reduce energy expenditure accordingly, which is pretty darn cool in my books. But yeah, the Java Moss is also doing great. The Limnophila sessiliflora is doing great. The Rotella rotundifolia is being a bit shy, perhaps unable to keep up their competition with the Limnophila and other plants and getting outshaded, but that's okay. We don't really need them anyway. And yeah, that pretty much sums up our first enclosed ecosphere with shrimp experience after a month. I'd say things are going very smoothly, especially for my first time. Nothing bad has actually happened yet, knock on wood, but I'm famous for my famous last words. So we'll keep an eye on it and I'll be continuing these updates for you guys in the future. Make sure to give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already so you can catch all the new content in the future. Don't forget to get your hands wet.